Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Avion 2. In this episode, we're going to be getting some things that we unfortunately missed out on, um, or that I didn't realize real quick. First things first, we're gonna go, I wanna go into this entire area because we need the thistle, which I didn't realize it was here. And then we're gonna need some... That one letter. Which I think is in here. Yep. We're gonna need that, and then we're gonna need the thistle. Also, while I was off training to get um, Rye a little stronger, I learned Silly Song and Twinkle Song, which I'm going to be showing soon. We're going to want to go to this place, because apparently Thistle grows here. Well, that chicken had no idea what he was doing. I think that goes on to the main path. My bridge looks important.
Wrong side for my dragon. We can save Herbert. Herbert, you're alive. Marina, is that you? Alright, get out here. Why is everyone staring? Come with me back to the cottage. I'll explain everything to you there. Your karma increases. Just sing around turn it to his leave. I'll be darned. Herbert was a beast. How do you do it? Herbert was much more valuable as a beast. Excuse me? Remember nothing of the past year, my wife tells me I was a beast. Let's see. You know me, I gotta start the episode off with trying to figure out if this is still open. Yep. Now it's open. Raven Song and Starlight. Raven Song, Starlight, and MOLO. Since you are using spells, but I use one of these blizzard scrolls that I bought to farm for. Moella wins. Receives the green band. Emma gets a new outfit. We're down, one to go. I'll never be troubled with Trevor. He's won for the tournament for years. Yes, as you can see, that Emma is now red. I'm gonna upgrade her agility just to see what it does. But yes, I bought tons and tons and tons of blizzard spells. Just so that I could beat that thing. 
Hmm. Tempted. I would like to get this out of the way before then, but... I might have to... Just not. Five strength, uh... Mm. Nicholas. Um... I don't think her magic's strong enough at this stage. <coughs> well, we can test out all the blizzard scrolls that I bought because I bought them specifically for that area because... The fights are ridiculously long. And I ain't got time for that, so... I'm just gonna see if these blizzard spells actually do anything. I did this to get another class, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna go with Necromancer, because it kind of sounds... not great. Starting off with Twinkle Song. Pretty good single target damage. Okay, let's do this again, because this is more powerful. No fuss, no muss. In my opinion, it's better to go back to that um, fairy tale place and farm out some money to get those than it is to just fight them with what we have right now of abilities because, man, they're annoying. Also, I think I'm actually going to switch off of Dragar and I'm going to go back to Behemoth. I couldn't remember why. I always had Behemoth for this area instead of Dragar, but I think it's because of Plague. Okay, we're gonna test out some of these scrolls on these guys. These guys are the ones I wanted to test this out on because these guys are weak to mag or they're weak to physical attack, but they're not they're strong against magic, but I wonder how that works for spells. Totally weak. So yes, it is totally worth it to go back and farm for those blizzard scrolls so that you can take these guys out. The other reason why I'm tempted to not get, um... And yeah, Behemoth actually does something, which I didn't think that would be the case, because... I didn't realize that there was el elemental awareness for each type of monster, but I guess Behemoths do damage to the creatures here. But Dragars do not. Upgraded to Moonlight Song. Yeah, you guessed it. Every single song can be upgraded. Which means you're looking at 99 if you want to actually max out anything. I was actually thinking the Weathermaster actually suits the best as far as the time goes. I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm just gonna use four Blizzard Scrolls. I can always go back for more, and I honestly don't think that I'm going to be using these for much longer. Because I don't think this area is particularly long.
So I'm going to show off what Necromancer looks like, but in the end I'm probably going to go with Weathermaster or something like that. Because I was thinking about it and I'm not sure if that's going to be good. It'll probably be powerful, but it's probably not going to be powerful against anything here. If you had a lot of blizzard scrolls and you really wanted to level up everybody and test them all out, you could probably just keep switching between the party members that you need to level and then just, you know, max them out that way. As you can see, this guy is probably the strongest of all of the Guildmasters. been cursed. As you can see, this is Ia's necromancer gown. It's kind of weird that she doesn't have shoes. But like I said, I don't know if I'm actually going to be using this. I'll just make a separate save with this class so you guys can see this class because I intended to show what all the classes can do, <coughs> but I'm a love letter. Halbert, you have wrote this for me, don't you remember? Remember this, Minora, it really is you. I'm much better now. Thank this for your kindness. Please tell my sister till the hello for me. Okay, well, um, let's see, what do I, else do I have to do? Oh yeah, I have to go to the other zombie place.
Ah, the howling of the wolves. As you might have guessed, death dogs, super strong enemies. Um, let's try Moonlight Song. Oh, bye. Yeah, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Okay, back to blizzard spells, I guess. I'm probably going to equip that sphere now, so that if she levels, she can level with new spells to show them off. As you can see, these guys have a lot of HP and a lot of attack power. Okay. That's why I used a lot of Blizzard Scrolls, but... Everybody leveled up. Windows Song Clip to Comet Song. So yeah, I think while it's easy to level, I'm going to at least level the base spells, and then I'll go back and forth between the Cursed and the Phoenix. Oh crap, I just saved over that. Well, it's permanent now. Evil oxen for sale. 1,000 gold coins per ox. Evil oxen can restore the mana and the health for individuals with dark souls. Too bad we don't have one. But in the next episode, we'll be exploring the two moon planes. See you guys then.